Now, you also bring up inflation, uh, which is going to be a huge topic as the economy moves forward and rebounds out of recession. Uh, what can investors do to protect themselves from inflation? Well, I think to protect yourself from inflation, you should do what the Chinese are doing. Because the U.S., you know, Bernanke and those boys are printing trillions of dollars and not telling us about it. I mean, you know, I think it was uh, Bloomberg that just sued the Fed for, you've got, you got to open up your books. They're printing all of this money. You should do what the Chinese are doing. The Chinese are buying commodities. They're buying copper, oil, gold, silver, land. You know, they just did that huge Canadian tar sands deal up in Canada. So that's all I've ever done. If you look at my investment portfolio, I started investing in oil in 1966, real estate in 1973, and I have my own gold mine and my own silver mine. So if you're afraid of, inv of inflation, which you should be, I would think silver is the number one investment today. Silver is a smoking deal. And silver at about $15, $16, $20 an ounce, average Joe can do it. You know, you just cut out your Starbucks for a while and go buy some silver. You're in the game. Silver is one of the biggest, biggest things against inflation you'll ever see. Great investment. Are you personally buying silver? Absolutely. I mean, I've been buying it for years, so I just love silver. But I was buying it at, you know, $3 an ounce. Today it's about 15 the reason I like silver is this. Number one, gold is hoarded. You know, it's, put, it's just stuffed away. It has no value to it. Silver is an industrial commodity. It means it's used in cell phones, cameras, computers. It's used everywhere. So that means today, what's really interesting is that there is more gold on planet Earth than silver. It's fantastic. And, and you know, back when, one year ago, I think silver was 50 times less expensive than gold. In other words, for one ounce of gold, I could buy 50 ounces of silver. Today, one ounce of gold will buy 70 ounces of silver, which, which means silver is a bargain today. Now, with all the government expansion, inflation looming, taxes running higher, uh, would you say Obama's running the country like a rich dad or a poor dad? <laughs> Obama? <laughs> The guys who run the country, I write about this in a book called Conspiracy of the Rich. The people that run the country are Goldman Sachs. Come on, give me a break. And the guys that control Goldman Sachs. It's run by the international banking cartels of the world. The Federal Reserve Bank is not a bank. It is owned by the richest European and some Saudi money in the world. And the Federal Reserve Bank is the one that has caused this crisis. The Federal Reserve Bank was created in 1913. In 1944, there was a Bretton Woods Agreement. 1971, Nixon took the world off the gold standard. And after that, the Federal Reserve Bank controlled the world. And they could flood the world with fiat money. I mean, currency, that's paper. That's all it is. And throughout history, any time a nation has gone to fiat currency, in other words, government-sponsored money, the money has absolutely gone to zero. It has no value. So that's why you see gold fluctuating right now and silver fluctuating right now, oil fluctuating right now. It's because the world, the smart money knows this, the U.S. dollar is trash. I don't think Obama can do anything because he doesn't control the world. Goldman Sachs does. Robert Kiyosaki, best-selling author, investor, motivational speaker and inventor, uh, author of the upcoming book, Conspiracy of the Rich. Uh, Robert, thank you so much for coming on the program today. Thank you. This has been an interesting experience. <laughs> Thank you. Signing off, I'm Dan Mangrew for Newsmax TV Money. The reason gold is so important, gold and silver, is because gold and silver is God's money. It's money made by God. And then in 1971, the U.S government under Tricky Dick Nick, President Nixon took God's money and turned it into man-made money. Never in the history of the world, this is the thing, never in the history of the world has this ever happened. In 1971, the U.S. and Nixon convinced the entire world to replace gold and silver with paper money. This stuff. Cash is trash. So the reason we have so much volatility in the world today is historically, since the time of the Romans and the Greeks and the French and the English and the Germans, every time they have taken God's money, like silver here, and replaced it with man-made money, there's been economic volatility. 
Now the problem is, so the dollar is going to keep dropping. So the, one of the reasons I can predict what's going to happen is I can predict the dollar will keep dropping simply because the U.S. government and now the euro, the European Central Banks, are printing so much of this trash. So you'll see gold going up in price, oil going up in price, real estate going up in price, because this is trash. So that's what happened in 1971. It's happened throughout history. And the reason this current election doesn't make any difference is the only person that can put this back in place is a strong, charismatic leader, people like uh, Julius Caesar, Napoleon. That's why there were such great leaders, was they actually replaced this with this. Unfortunately, we do not have that person among the candidates. I know Ron Paul, philosophically, I agree with him as closely as possible, but unfortunately, I don't think Ron Paul has the chutzpah, as my Jewish friends would say, to change this whole thing. So there will be more this printed than ever before, which means the dollar keeps coming down and other things keep going up. And that's really what's going to happen. It's, it's predictable. And eventually, this will go to its true worth, zero. So all of you savers out there and people trying to save this trash, you're going to lose big time. It, to me, I've been saying this for a number of years now, silver is the biggest opportunity I have ever seen, bigger than real estate, bigger than anything else. And silver, as we're talking today, 2008, is about $15 an ounce. Mm -hmm. There's less than 10 years supply worth of silver on planet Earth. The difference between gold and silver is gold is hoarded, silver is consumed. Silver is an industrial precious metal. It is used in cell phones, telephones, computers.